Look, look, I understand many people say black people fought, bled, and died to win the right to vote. That is true. And if anybody tries to take away the right to vote, everything should be done to fight against that. But having the right to do something is not the same thing as saying you should do it. For example, people, and especially women, should have the right to divorce. They should have the right to get out of a relationship or a marriage that is unrewarding and especially one that is brutal and abusive. And if anyone tried to take away that right, there should be an all-out fight against that. But that doesn't mean every woman should go get a divorce. You have to look at the actual relationship. You have to actually look at the content of the marriage and say, is it good or bad? And make your decision based on that. The same thing is true of voting. Is it good or bad to vote for these people and give them our stamp of approval so they can go out and commit more monstrous crimes throughout the world and say they're doing it on our behalf and carrying out our will? So here we're getting to a very basic question. Is all we can strive for, all we can hope for, to somewhat improve the conditions of the oppressed, which in reality will mean improvement for some of the oppressed at the expense of many others, within this world as it is, under the rule of this monstrous system? Or is it necessary, and is it possible to do something much greater, to abolish this system and go beyond it, and in so doing, achieve whole new dimensions of freedom, whole new meaning to what it means to be human and how human beings relate to each other and to the rest of the natural world? I am deeply convinced on the basis of a scientific approach that the answer is the second of these, and we need to do everything we can to contribute to that.